The first mention of Satan in the Bible is in the book of Genesis chapter 3, in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve. He was the one who had deceived Eve, and convinced her to rebel against God and to eat the forbidden fruit. But before Satan was the great deceiver, he was originally the most beautiful of all cherubs, or angels. That is until the day when he decided to rebel against God, in an attempt to be worshipped. Ezekiel 28:13. Thou hast been in Eden the garden of God, every precious stone was thy covering, the sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold, the workmanship of thy tablets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou wast created. 28:14. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so, thou wast upon the holy mountain of God, thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. 28:15. Thou wast perfect in thy ways from the day that thou wast created, till iniquity was found in thee. 28:17. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty, thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground, I will lay thee before kings, that they may behold thee. Luke 10:18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Isaiah 14:12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? 14:13. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation, in the sides of the north, 1414. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, I will be like the most high, 1415. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. So we can see here that Satan was originally in heaven. But he was cast out of heaven to the earth and he is in fact the God of this world. 2 Corinthians 4:4, In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Ephesians 2-2 Wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. But when God cast Satan out from heaven to earth, did God forbid Satan from ever returning to heaven? The answer is no. We find proof of this in the book of Joab. Joab 1:6. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. 1:7. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord, and said, from going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. 1 8. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God, and escheth evil? 1 9. Then Satan answered the Lord, and said, Doth Job fear God for naught? 1 10. Hast not thou made an hedge about him? and about his house, and about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. 1 1. But put forth thine hand now, and touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee to thy face. 1 12. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power, only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And we find him returning yet again to heaven in Joab chapter 2, verse 1. Again there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. 2 2. And the Lord said unto Satan, From whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord, and said, From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. Some may say that this is not proof that this occurred in heaven. 
However Jesus makes it clear in the book of Matthew that God's throne is in fact heaven. Matthew 5:34. But I say unto you, swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, and also in Matthew 23:22, And he that shall swear by heaven, sweareth by the throne of God, and by him that sitteth thereon. Following passages are in my opinion further evidence that Satan has on occasion returned to heaven. 1 Kings 22 19. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord, I saw the Lord sitting on his throne, and all the host of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. 22 20. And the Lord said, Who shall persuade Ahab, that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? And one said on this manner, and another said on that manner. 22 21. And there came forth a spirit, and stood before the Lord, and said, I will persuade him. 22:22. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth, and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him, and prevail also, go forth, and do so. 22:23. Now therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets, and the Lord hath spoken evil concerning thee. We find this referenced also in 2 Chronicles 18:18. 18, 18. Although these two passages do not specifically name Satan as this lying spirit, we are told by Jesus in the book of John that Satan is a liar and the father of lies. John 8:44. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. I am aware that this is a controversial topic among churches, and most likely you will not hear this preached from the pulpit. However the Bible is very clear on this. You may ask why God would allow him to return to heaven. And the only answer that I can leave you with is found in Isaiah 55 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. 55 9 For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. Share it and hit that subscribe button.